we are going to talk about absolute value functions when they have a vertical or a horizontal shift. If it has a vertical shift, the function will move up or down. If the function has a horizontal shift, it will move to the right or to the left. Let's get started. We're going to begin talking about the vertical shifts. These are in the form y equals the absolute value of x plus k. If k is positive, the graph will shift up. If k is negative, the graph will shift down. Let's graph y equals the absolute value of x plus 4. I can pick any numbers for x. Let's try negative 2. y will equal the absolute value of negative 2 plus 4. That would be 2 plus 4, which is 6. Let's try negative 1. y equals the absolute value of negative 1 plus 4. That will equal 1 plus 4, which is 5. I'm going to continue plugging in numbers. And now let's plot these points. I have the point negative 2, 6, negative 1, 5, 0, 4, 1, 5, and 2, 6. Let's graph y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. We're going to plug in numbers again. I'm going to plug in negative 2. y will equal the absolute value of negative 2 minus 3. That would be 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. I'm going to continue plugging in numbers to find points for this graph. And now let's plot those points. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 2. 0, negative 3. 1, negative 2. And 2, negative 1. This is the graph y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. So my parent function y equals the absolute value of x. Then when I graphed y equals the absolute value of x plus 4, my function moved up four spaces. When I graphed y equals the absolute value of x minus 3, my function moved down three spaces. Let's work on horizontal shifts. Here is my parent function, y equals the absolute value of x. If I have y equals the absolute value of x minus h, that is a horizontal shift and my function will move right or left. I do have to be careful. Notice in the formula, it is x minus the h. Let's graph some of these. y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. I'm going to plug in some numbers. If I plug in 1, I will get y equals the absolute value of 1 minus 3. y will equal the absolute value of negative 2, which is just 2. I'm going to continue plugging in numbers. And now I'm going to graph them. 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 5, 2. This is the graph y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. Now notice. I had y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 3. But remember, x minus is part of the formula. Our h is actually a positive 3. And sure enough, my graph did move to the right, 3 units. And now let's plug in a few points for y equals the absolute value of x plus 5. If I plug in negative 7, I will get y equals the absolute value of negative 7 plus 5, which will be the absolute value of negative 2, which is just 2. Once again, I'm going to choose x's, plug them into my function, and solve for y. And now I'm going to plot these points. This is the function y equals the absolute value of x plus 5. Notice this function shifted to the left. 5 units. But this could be written 
as y equals the absolute value of x minus a minus 5. Remember our formula was x minus. So our h is negative 5 and our graph does shift to the left 5 units. You have to be very careful with the horizontal shifts and the signs. This is an absolute value function and in this video we talked about vertical and horizontal shifts. y equals the absolute value of x plus k is a vertical shift. It will send my function up or down. y equals the absolute value of x minus h is a horizontal shift and it will send my function right or left.